asking um, MetaMask if you really want to connect to the test faucet and let the test faucet see your account. You say connect. And then uh, a few seconds later, a transaction should pop up here. But for whatever reason, it just didn't pop up. But if you go into your MetaMask, uh, these little dots here, and say view an Etherscan, then you see your account, your address here, and what is going on on the blockchain. All the data is public, so everybody can see what's going on, including you, yourself. And you see that I hit a couple of times this uh, request one Ether from Fawcett. Another transaction is here. So it's it's a little bit tricky to get this done, uh, but it's a test net, so that's okay. And then we basically just wait until the Ether arrive in our wallet. Here's the first one and the second and the third one. You don't need three. So if you have one Ether, that's more than enough to deploy the smart contracts, but it should be uh, at least something in your account. So I just, I reinstalled MetaMask here. I have to do it again. And I thought it's a good idea to just redo the process of getting test ether. Now my test ethers are here. And in the next lecture, we can really take care of modifying our truffle in order to use Infura and the same account here without actually revealing the private key. Now I'll see you in the next lecture.